Austin Ivre asked the Pope about how he was experiencing the pandemic and lockdown, both in the St. Martha residence and the Vatican administration, the Curia, both practically and spiritually. And this is what the Pope had to say. The Curia is trying to carry on its work and to live normally, organising its shifts so that not everyone is present at the same time. It's been well thought out. We are sticking to the measures ordered by the health authorities. Here in Santa Marta residence, we now have two shifts for meals, which helps a lot to alleviate the impact. Everyone works in his office or from his room using technology. Everyone is working. There are no idlers here, says Pope Francis. How am I living this spiritually? I'm praying more because I feel I should. And I think of people. That's what concerns me. People. Thinking of people anoints me. It does me good. It takes me out of my self-preoccupation. Of course, I have my areas of selfishness. On Tuesdays, my confessor comes and I take care of things there. I'm thinking of my responsibility now, responsibilities now of what will come afterwards. What will be my service as Bishop of Rome, as head of the church, in the aftermath? That aftermath has already begun to be revealed as tragic and painful, which is why we must be thinking about it now. The Vatican's dicasteries for the promotion of integral human development has been working on this and meeting with me. My major concern, at least what comes through my prayer, is how to accompany and be close to the people of God, hence the live streaming of the 7A Mass. I celebrate that each morning, which many people follow and appreciate, as well as addresses I've given and the March 27 event in St. Peter's Square. Hence, to, to step up in activities of the Office of Papal Charities attending to the sick and the hungry. I'm living this as a, great, as a time of great uncertainty. It's a time for inventing, for creativity. I believe too that there's an important uh, Mass coming up uh, that the Pope will celebrate at the tomb of John Paul II as it's the 100th anniversary of John Paul II's birth. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to post you the details of that.